All right, welcome back. Um, getting some rainstorms here, thunderstorms. So I don't know if that's going to bleed through a little bit. Uh, I think last time we were upgrading some mimic tier action to get it up to. I don't know if we got plus six, plus seven. I forget what we got. Uh, now we're going to head back to Nakron City of the Night or whatever it's called. Again, never gonna not love that singing. You know what, let's just give it a sec. All right, so the main thing we still need to get the, I don't know, is it six total? I don't remember how many it is. So. You know what, let me, I think that guy's coming toward me. I don't, it seems like he really <laughs> had some eagle eye vision there. But yeah, so uh, let me deal with this guy first. <laughs> that didn't work. Thought it'd go in all stylish, all try and big time him. Basically, now I just want the backstab. Oh, I forgot I don't have... Okay. I don't have my usual player versus environment explorer setup. Well, worry about that later. Alright, so we gotta figure out where these other... torch pillars are. I think there's one in this cluster that we haven't had yet, so let me see if I can sort of... I mean, if I have to fight him, I will, but uh, let me see if I can just sort of get in and out. I was able to on the other one. Did we... All right, there we go. Now, where else... Okay, it can't be here. This is this is where we're working toward. Maybe there's something on the outskirts that I missed. I'm not sure. No, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. Maybe there's one back near the beginning that I missed. Let me go back there real quick. Definitely missed a couple of these items, so that's good. There's a, let me go get that. It's a ghost wart. Yeah, ghost, it's good. All right, so I got that one. Oh, you know. I was spot checking one of the videos and let me see if there's something over here. I, I think I got over here. I mean, I, there was nothing to get. Um, is there something over here? I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, there we go. Get that. Oh, I thought it was a ghost ward or whatever. All right, so what are we at? We're at one, two, three. Are we just missing one? Nope. Did I check this whole road? I feel like I did. I know I got one or two up top. Maybe there's one I missed. I definitely got one up top. Because I remember doing it right before I went over to that other area that you have to jump on the walls that I stupidly jumped over the wall and died.
Is there one? No, I don't think there's one over there. I think I would have seen. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. There we go. I think that's it. There we go. Yeah, that's the that's telling us we got it. So that boss is open. Missed something there. Oh, and you know what? I think that's um. Speaking of, when I was spot checking the video, I totally lost my train of thought. I think I saw something on the bridge that I might have went by. And it's probably not that, uh, which direction was it? It's probably not that important. But I figured I'd just go check it out. There was something, again, just something I caught out of the corner of my eye. But you know, when I'm playing the game, I'm looking sort of fixated a little bit, a little tunnel vision on my player character. And then when I'm spot checking, so is that was that it? I don't think that was it. I mean, I'm glad to get that, but I don't think that was the item. Did I just... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Free souls. I guess it's worth it. Yeah, so when I'm when I'm spot-checking, like, I don't watch the whole videos down. i just like, yeah, let me just see how it looks. And, um... Yeah, just something went out of the corner of my eye. That, you know, like I saw the way to solve the, the dungeon near Radon. Um... If I Google it, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, like, hey, I had to Google this. But in this case, just something caught my eye. Let me see if I can get by these guys. I don't want to deal with any of this. My fear is that, well, if it's like the last elk fight, then I'm not going to fight the elk here. It's going to, so maybe I don't have to worry about them coming up behind in the middle of the fight. Okay, here we go. I mean, my memory is that this is a second elk fight. It seems like it makes sense given what I'm doing. Let's uh, let's give the tier some the mimic tier some work. So, uh, God, Regal answer. So, like the last one, I I don't feel good about this. Uh, you can see again the mimic tier wrecks your uh, uh, hit points instead of your magic points. So, let's see what these bubbles can do. I'm curious, like, oh, there you go, double, double the action there. I'm curious how well the mimic tier can tank. And the nice thing about headless is that it can take a beating, and I'm not particularly durable, so I don't know what that means overall for the tier. Sort of trying to avoid that. Ooh, 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 okay. All right. I mean, you can see, like, another reason not to feel good about it. This thing goes down really easily and <laughs> probably doesn't deserve the fate I just smashed into its skull. Oh, that's interesting. Like, when I was fighting the elk, I think these spirit animals were up and about, and <laughs> so now I feel even worse. <laughs> I just exterminated the entire spirit animal population of Elden Ring. You're welcome. All right. I guess it keeps glowing. I'm not sure. Kind of feeling like we've done most of this. There were some areas there I, I like I think I missed uh there was definitely an item that I saw commented on. It's up in this church, I think, to the right. And then <laughs> forgot about. Uh, it's up on the top level, and I think I even said, like, how do you get there? And then, you know, didn't follow through. 
So let's see how this is going to work. I'm hoping... My gut tells me this ball can't fit through the door, and this will be an easy way to wipe it out. Oh. That's an added bonus. I assume the bubbles... Oh, maybe I should let the... When I played through this the first time on the PS5, those things gave me a little bit of trouble. So that's why I sort of hesitate to deal with them. But it seems like I'm capable of handling them all right. Yeah, so that's the thing I forgot about. Not sure if that thunder's coming through. All right, so how do you get there? Oops, hit the wrong button. Um, all right, I don't wanna, that's where we got the mimic. Oh, wait, wait, those windows are open. Can I pop? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> let's try that again. That was that was par for the course and also ridiculous at the same time. All right, so let me get the ball coming over here. You know, I wonder if you can actually get the ball to kill both of those. I don't know if they're in place. Maybe it's not worth waiting. Wait a minute. Okay, it looks like one of them's right there. Oh, okay. All right. Is it just enough for the wiggle to... Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. Yeah, let's let it do it. Let's, uh... Just to say we did. Because if I'm going to make you sit here, I should... I was, um... You know, in the last session, the session opened up with, like, a really weird frame rate drop. And so, as I mentioned, this is the RTX 7900 XT... Uh, RTX. Uh, the Radeon. 7900 XTX. I got it because I wanted to try the 24 gig of video RAM for video editing. And it's been a bit of a disaster so far. I found out one thing that helps is not editing in AV1. And, you know, DaVinci and H.264, H.265, and I guess AV1, it's sort of an H.264, 5-ish, whatever. I guess it's giving it problems. So, like, I can make proxies of a different kind of file, particularly ProRes QuickTimes, and that solves it. You know, no more problems. But then I had an issue with like a Zoom call tonight where I had the same driver problem that I had with DaVinci and H.264s in Zoom. So I lost, no, there's one. Did I get the other one? No, okay. And so I lost all like the video feeds and I, I don't know what's going on, but I don't feel like Zoom and H.264 should be causing this many problems. Uh, so I'm not sure what to do. I don't mind using proxies for this because it's probably the better workflow anyway overall. But it's just crazy that I'm having this many... And, you know, I should have been warned. Like, this is what people say about AMD all the time. Like, their drivers, pardon my French, they fucking suck sometimes. And I'm getting that vibe now. Now, let's see if we can get out. Is it this window? I see a little platform. Let's... Oh, wait. Let's see what that guy does. Can I go out? Yeah, here. Let's go this one. It's a little safer. Anyway. So, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Like, when it works see is that there's a gap okay when it works it works great but like I, I can't have like zoom not oh oh that was close I can't have zoom not work that's not that taxing of a program um, and it can be kind of fundamental to a work from home kind of setup so 
All right, let's go get this thing, see what it is. Nox flowing here. Hmm, all right. I probably will never use it, but why not? Anyway, so that's what's been going on with the, the graphics card. You can see, like, this is playing butter smooth, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I just cannot have, like, these weird... And I don't want to say it's, like, random, because it's not random. It's, um, it seems to be dealing with H.264, H.265. I've tried a bunch of different suggestions I've found on the interwebs. Uh, none of them seem to work. I didn't expect it from... <laughs> I really didn't expect it from Zoom uh, when that happens. I mean, granted, it was a long... It was a call with a lot of people, so I'm sure there were going to be a lot of faces in there, but come on. So, like, you know... Where do we want to go? I think we're done here, to be honest with you. I don't. I can't think of anything else to do. So, let's start handing some stuff in. Anyway, so I'm trying to. De I'm debating what to do. I'm gonna. You know, I think I have a little bit more time before I like have to return it or RMA it or whatever I'm gonna do. It's just shocking though that it's having this much trouble. You know, I turned off settings. I made sure to make sure the, the fans run. I. So try not, tries not to overheat. I upped the power supply. I've done like a million things. And uh, let's see what she says. It was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokros. My thanks. Finally all the pieces... Right, I know we went there to get something for her. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path. Only I may tread. Let's uh, exhaust her. Before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. Oh, there we go. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. One of the main things I was looking to get from. Gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. <laughs> I feel like... What is it? You may go. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. What is it? I, too... Okay, I think that's it. I feel like I just got spoken to, like an Elden Ring escort. Like, I left the money on the dresser. You took it. I don't understand why you're still here. Your service was short and brief, so go. <laughs> Your service was fine. You know. <laughs> you got your money. Anyway, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm, I'm getting, and you know, and that's the thing, like Premiere Pro doesn't really take advantage of the GPU the way DaVinci Resolve does. So at the same time, oh, let me get these guys. I feel bad. Like, you know, you know, maybe they're, you know, Ronnie's like a dog mom or dog parent. And I just come out here and blow them away. Um, anyway, so I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, and, you know, Premiere Pro doesn't take advantage of the GPU as much, so. That's one of the main programs I use. It's that and DaVinci, so I'm trying to. Premiere Pro, like, none of this matters, really, right? Anything like that, anything would have been fine. I, although I was reading that, um, reading or watched a video or something. Let me see what this guy's up to. I guess I already talked to him since I lied about the potion. I think at some point I'm going to do magic, so maybe, I don't know, this one, this one, well, the swords, this one, what's this? Yeah, I'd rather get the swords. I'm not sure, I'll, I think at some point I'm going to go back to magic, but I should also probably try to pick up some sorceries. I don't know if I've got connections still somewhere. Nope, wrong button. 
So that thing that Ronnie just gave us is used for a tower. Um, let me see if I can upgrade anything real quick. Maybe this guy, because he was connected to Ronnie, so maybe he's also got something to say. Sounds a little bit like a Batman Alfred kind of. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Lady Rani along the dark. Now Lady Rani, I pray that you serve. I guess for two level sixes, why not? I'm going to be able to stick with that shield, I think. Can't do that. I wonder if I could I was the black wet blade. How do we switch? Is it not done here? No, let's, uh, let's grab this. I guess I could lower the magic points my bubbles take. I feel like I'm good on the somber smithing stones. I can... Let me see. I want to see what that... We got that black wet blade. Can't do those, but how do I... Oh, that's the thing we just picked up. like uh, not there yet either. We're getting near the top of those. Um, that Moonlight Katana is also a, needs the nines. Um, where is that? I want to get up to that peninsula there and I don't know if we're quite there yet, but let's go to this tower, I think. But you know, there's something below the tower that we haven't been to yet. There's got to be a way to get down there. I just I cannot recall how to do it. Yeah. It's that whole area there, and I just don't know what the trick is. Am I going the right way? I am not quite. Let me put a marker down just so I don't get completely lost. Anyway, so I mean, ranting about the graphics card. I guess we'll see how it goes, but I am... Um, if it were just gaming, you know, you can see, like, it's, it's, it's running perfectly well. But because it's also my job. Am I there? Yeah, let me remove that. It's Then it becomes a real issue. I feel like if I jumped, I'm going to die. Not seeing one of those uh, air elevators. But I'd love to get down there. I feel like that's even lower, but maybe there's an air elevator around here. Feels unlikely though. I feel like my best shot was behind us, but let me just be, let me just double check. Ooh. Okay. I think we, 
Yeah, I just don't see it. I think we're at max FP potion, so we can skip that beetle. Anyway, we'll see. Let's just skip down here. Maybe that, well, maybe there's a way to get down there. It seems like there's a gap in the map, but maybe if we go down here, there's a way. Maybe that little road that forks to the east. So yeah, it, it's been disappointing, I gotta say. Um, and it's such a weird thing, right? Like, I, I don't know what like a driver timeout means on a very technical, yeah, yeah that gap is gonna keep us from getting over there. I don't know what it means from a technical standpoint, but it's something I've never encountered with NVIDIA cards. And I've had NVIDIA cards for a while now. And I was kind of, like I said, I was kind of excited. At, I think I said it in one of these. I was kind of excited to try Team Red for a little bit. So can we change the black? Is it something we do here? The black blade or whatever the whetstone is? These are the ashes of war. This doesn't seem... I feel like it'd be one of these, right? Or do we take the whetstone to the round table hold? Is it different? Does it matter? I guess I could make this a heavy... Go a lot more strength, but then I think this is what we have right now. And you can see it's, I mean, it's got some decks, but it's mostly faith, strength. Standard's not, well, heavy makes it all strength, but yeah, we're going to lose. I think, I think it's lower. So let's just, I don't know, let's just stick with what it is for now. All right, let's take a look at this. I don't think we've really gone in the tower. Oh, okay. Let me um let me go back down and just see what that was. Hmm. Yeah, these things. Fantastic. Oh, 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 okay, okay, yeah. There's no point to this, except that I hate these things, so let me just kill them out of spite. But, um, we'll have to deal with these guys later. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, head back and give this another shot. Yeah, you know, when they drop, they fall to their death, so we definitely don't want to jump out there. Okay. This has a very Duke Archives. I forget what the area was in Dark Souls 3. I love Duke Archives. Duke's Archives. I also like it in Dark Souls 3 as well, so I was, I was a big fan of this when I first saw it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let me... <laughs> <laughs> Let me watch out for that guy. Oh, that's an interesting combo. Let's see if I can roll too early, but it didn't matter, so that's good. Love to backstab this guy, but let's go for a bubble. Whoa. Did those bubbles hit? I can't tell. Didn't seem like it. Maybe maybe the elevation screwed it up? I don't know. 
Still rolled a hair too early, but not as bad. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay. This is very much like a Duke Arcs Duke's Archives fight, I think. Like, they have, like, uh, those things that sort of teleport around after you do a certain amount of damage. Uh, let's, let's beef up our magic. It seems to be what this guy's about. Keep that. So this is tricky. That arrow moves fast and hits hard. And if you mistime the roll or something, you're going to get wrecked. And he is pretty far away. So... <laughs> That's not bad. Let's uh, engage cheese. Or do I rush him? I feel like that's it's gonna be risky. These guys aren't a problem, but. <laughs> Fantastic. Apparently you can't take oh can't take cover in an open passageway. <laughs> you know, on Netflix they just released a movie Extraction 2, which is a sequel to Extraction, which hey, God bless Netflix for keeping the straight to home video title conventions alive. But um the first one was actually Enjoyable. I, I had a good time watching it. It's, you know, it's a, just a solid action movie. Can I do it? Nope. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, I got a shot off. Did he teleport away? Is he somewhere? I hear him. So, <laughs> in Extraction 2, I heard that there's a scene where, like... I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to check it out. But, um, there's a scene where... A helicopter shooting a train or something like that that Hemsworth is on and uh, in one of the scenes because it's probably a ton of CGI <laughs> they don't put anything there for him to take cover behind so the helicopter just starts shooting and he takes cover behind like a ladder which is just bravo <laughs> like it doesn't even it's like we don't even care anymore let me see if I can do this get behind for back nope no backstabs yet. Anyway. That's what I just did. I took cover behind basically nothing, but Elden Ring is more realistic than Extraction 2. Yeah, I said it. Alright, so where did he go? I feel like I'm talking a lot about Extraction 2, and I'm still not talking enough about Duke's Archives. I don't know if it's one of my... I don't know if the entirety is really fun to play, but I really like that opening section when you first... I guess, spoiler alert for Dark Souls 1. Uh, when you first get imprisoned there. It's a little frustrating. I mean, I guess at this point I've played it enough times. It's not... Oh, there he is. It's not quite so bad, but let's see if I can get to him. Nope. Starting to, I gotta watch my health potions here. Okay, dodge that one, but it seemed like it was just dumb luck. Didn't dodge that. Definitely didn't dodge that. Okay. I I don't have the health potion, so... If he's just gonna circle the top here, I, I'm not gonna give him that satisfaction. Yeah, Duke's archives, you know, you, you get imprisoned, and again, I don't know if it's the most fun to play, but I like the, the atmosphere the audio. I think there's like these music boxes you can play. Or somebody's playing it to summon the...
summon the guards. Oh, see, this is all right. This is getting stupid. Um. Yeah, this is, let me let me take care of some of these guys, and then let me get my uh, backstab on. I don't think I need this so much. It seems purely magical. So at least I, you know, I'm fine on magic potions. Let me let me see if I can get some health back. I've seen a couple of movies recently. I haven't gone to the movies much over the last couple of years, but you know, I've started getting back into it. It's something I've always loved to do. Let me, uh, can I pop him and does it... Did I hit him? I can't tell if I hit him. Definitely missed there. Okay. Went and checked out The Flash a little while ago. And... I know, like, there's talks about it bombing, etc., etc. I genuinely enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not a huge superhero guy, but I, I do like Batman. And it's interesting that I don't know why the Flash is bombing. Maybe people really don't like it. Maybe people don't like what Ezra Miller was doing in the past, like the tabloid, the legal troubles, whatever. Um, maybe nobody cares because they know it doesn't mean anything because James Gunn. There we go, finally. James Gunn has taken over. No, I guess that's the spell he was casting. But it's it's gonna be interesting. Like, I, I don't I don't have anything against James Gunn. Like, I you know, his Guardians of the Galaxy movies are are solid. I don't love him, I don't hate him. I, I'm again I'm not a superhero comic book guy, but I do like Batman. I I don't know. I don't know how to phrase this. I, I don't know if he's for the movies he's made, like I don't sit there and go like his Marvel body of work has earned him the right to be the creative spearhead of an entire superhero franchise. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I don't watch Guardians of the Galaxy and say like I'm seeing the work of a superhero genius and we should shut everything down, scrap it, and just let him restart from scratch. Because it just, like, you know, everybody's, like, you know, oh, no, Warner Bros. Like, if you know this is happening, like, why is anybody going to watch? Oh. Why is anybody? I mean, maybe Black Adam wasn't good. But, like, if a big deal that Superman's back, apparently, I never actually saw it. Like, that doesn't mean anything. And they end up just, everybody looks stupid uh, for doing stuff. Are there any items down there? I feel like. I'm checking because in a minute you're going to see why I'm sort of checking. But anyway, so I thought The Flash was actually pretty solid. And the hardest thing of all is that, you know, it was supposed to be Ben Affleck's last go at as Batman. And they set it up so that they would get Michael Keaton back as Batman. <laughs> and I feel like if your choice is letting James Gunn take over the DC universe or having Michael Keaton back as Batman, you take Michael Keaton back as Batman. Uh, but that's not the way they... And I genuinely liked Henry Cavill as Superman. I feel like the Snyderverse movies... Oof, okay. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to say they were like amazing movies. But I found them way more interesting most of the time. All right. Than what Marvel movies have been trying to do. Especially the last, I don't know. Ever since the Avengers double pack wrapped up. Like, again, part of it's because I'm just not a superheroes guy. But part of it is I just, oh my god. Like, they're, they're so meaningless and bland. I don't know if you saw when I looked up there. Some interesting architecture like a staircase going up but it's upside down foreshadow so I think we've done this let's go back and <laughs> her foreshadow was eight seconds of foreshadowing anyway like whatever like 
they're all crap, whatever. But I thought Man of Steel. So yeah, this is the statue that Renny gave us. And you'll see what it does here. Kind of a cool cutscene. Gonna roll the dice. Am I gonna get close enough to get a level or am I gonna just miss it? I'm looking at these and I'm feeling like just miss it, but let's see. Ugh, no, okay. If I need, like, over 50, do four of these get me anywhere? Not really. Yeah, okay. So hopefully I don't blow this. So, I'm starting to get the idea, like, something's a little different, right? Remember that hand I had to shoot up to kill it? Is there a way to call that elevator? We might be forgetting something here. No, it's not. This room seems the same. I'm not seeing any... Do you... Oh, oh wait. Wait, do you even use the elevator? Is that a ledge? Can I drop on that? Ooh, oh, okay, all right. So yeah, if you remember that hand used to be on the roof, now it's... Now it can land on there and come at me. Oh, no, wrong button. Can I bubble through the... There we go. Still not a fan. And so here you go. Now the water is up. And the entire structure... Oh, oh he's back? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can actually... Can I get him to run off? That would be the easiest. Oh, no, okay, he's gone. All right, so you can sort of see, like, everything is upside down. And this is kind of why this one is my favorite of the Duke. That was a lot of hands. Were they always there and I just never noticed? Like, they didn't drop down on me, I don't think. Or maybe they did. Um, This is why this is sort of my favorite of the Duke's archives-like levels. Can I get down... Because it's got that Duke Archives feel, and then it's got this really cool extra layer to it. All right. Looks like a helmet. Oh, is it the Mask of Confidence? Is that, a, is that it? No? Oh, there we go. Okay, increases arcane. Okay. Um, yeah, so this I just think is just such a cool idea. Maybe it's not wildly original, but I feel like it's a really cool idea. It's really, for my money, well executed. Just stunning. Oh, God, these hands. Stunning visuals, which, you know, it's not just that they made it upside down. I made it an interesting second level, self-contained within the first. It's that it also... 
and just deal with this guy. It looks awesome. Um, which, you know, it again, you know, credit to the art direction, level design, you know, these are things that Souls, no. <laughs> just things that Souls games are always known for. And it's it's just paying off in spades here. It's almost like you know, granted, yeah, there's it's iterative. You could say it's derivative, but I feel like they're just knocking it out of the park. Anyway, I want to deal with this guy once and for all. I don't want to have to have him shooting arrows at uh, arrows at me while I'm trying to explore. Oh, that's a new spell. He wasn't doing that before. Oof, that was poorly timed. Can I just plunk? Can I? Yeah, I don't think I have bubble range. Let me just plunk these guys. Oh, hold on. Can he get up? I'll just do it. Anyway, yeah, uh, Man of Steel. Can I get him from up here? Nope. Maybe? There we go. I think the thing that, you know, what I really liked about Man of Steel and what I really liked about a lot of the Zack Snyder is one of the few times that I enjoyed Superman. Superman is often sort of like a... Much like this bubble blower. It's like the instant win button. Whatever your problem is, Superman probably has a power that can just obliterate it without really having to think about it. I think Miss Marvel had a similar problem in the Avengers movies. Like... Her entrance is spectacular, where she flies through a spaceship and destroys it, and then spends the rest of the time running around on the ground instead of <laughs> flying through all the other spaceships and destroying them. And maybe there's an explanation, I don't know, but let me bubble these things. I, did I get it off? Nope. I wonder if the, again, the incline, decline, whatever. Man of Steel took an interesting approach, because it... it and maybe past Superman movies did this, but it sort of... It's conflict wasn't, you know, Superman versus outside threat. That's usually kryptonite that somebody finds. And it was sort of Superman versus himself. Like, there's an interesting moment, like, where, again, there might be some spoilers if you haven't seen Man of Steel. Um, there is a moment when, like, you know, he saves a bus full of kids. And his dad is like, what the hell are you doing? And, you know, Superman at this point is just like a teenager. He's like, well, I can't let the kids die, can I? And his dad, you know, it's Kevin Costner. He's like, yes, maybe, I don't know. And so suddenly that's like the, the conflict, right? You, you have whatever his gift is, his power, whatever you want to call it. And then he needs to decide... Can he use it? Like, what is the ramifications? You know, yes, like the busload of kids die, but what does it mean to the whole planet if all of a sudden there's aliens here with superpowers? And so Man of Steel sort of, you know, and then even when Kevin Costner, you know, the tornado's coming and Superman could have easily grabbed him and saved him and Kevin Costner waves him off. Because again, like these are like, that's an interesting choice in my mind. Um, what I, what I think Man of Steel blew was at the ending, you know, he and, is it Zod? I forget the guy's name. Basically just have like a slugfest that destroys half the city. And it doesn't seem like Superman cares about the collateral damage until the very end when the Zod guy is shooting his eye laser beams. And, um aiming it at that family, you know, like it's one of those things where like, you know, one death is a tragedy, but a million is a statistic from Stalin, you know, like when he's destroying half the city, punching each other, it doesn't really come into play. And I kind of wish there was more like, is there anything else in this room? I don't know. Let me take a look. I, I kind of wish there was more awareness of that. Like, because the whole movie was like, what's my impact on earth? for being who I am. And here it is at its most violent and obvious. And uh, doesn't seem to come into play until the very, very end. And I didn't mind that Superman had to kill Zod. 
you know, like I'm not a comic book purist. I don't really care. So I was like, yeah, you know, like again, part of the conflict, you know, it, it just did a good job of making the conflict not about his solving the problems with his powers. It was having the problem of the power in the first place. And I thought that was interesting. And I thought Batman versus Superman continued that kind of interestingly. Because there they sort of get into the, the collateral damage and how it affects Bruce Wayne. But I felt like Superman should have been also more broken up by it. But So I thought that was a really interesting thing. And then, you know, a lot of the conflict there is, you know, Superman submitting, you know, saying like, look, if I'm going to, like the idea of like, how do I be a good citizen being who I am? Let me see if I can get to this tower and then maybe we'll start wrapping it up. Are these? No, okay. I don't know what these do exactly. Um, oh. Oh, okay, these guys. Let me see if... Did I have the bubble thing the last time I... Anyway, so I thought even Batman versus Superman, you know, was really interesting for a while. I, it, it was interesting to show Batman's brains versus Superman's brawn. Which I think is sort of how in the comic book, in the comic books, how bat, because I, I think in a Batman versus Superman comic book thing, technically speaking, Batman won if I Googled it right. Am I doing all right? Nope, no, maybe not. Um, so I appreciated that sort of brains versus brawn that they brought to. And then, of course, they just chucked it all away when Lex Luthor became whatever he became. And then again, it became a giant, like, smash into things for the last 30 minutes. I'm not doing well. Let's see if I can get away and heal up. What do I got? Six? Okay. And then even like... Oof. Okay. Even like the... Ooh, whoa, whoa. I feel like that would have wrecked me if I actually got hit by it. Running out of room. Can I get him on his? No, oh, that's too bad. I feel like even the like four-hour Justice League one, the Snyder whatever, the Snyder cut. Yeah, I totally. Do I have? Yeah, I need more of these. That's how I did it last time, I think. Right. Anyway, I thought the Snyder cut thing did also a lot of interesting. You know. Did, it, it continued that vibe and those interesting questions that the other ones kind of not that not that they're amazing movies, but you know like the you know I respected when the Avenger movies tried to do like do we submit to the Wachovia Accords or do we not you know that's sort of a similar conflict, um, but I felt like the DC movies sort of went into it a lot more. Did I, did I get him? Can I get him to come through it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I mean, the Nolan Batman movies are still the best for me. Although I do like what they did with... Can I get away from here? Come on, come on. Oh. Nope. Okay. I like what they did with the Batman with Robert Pattinson. I thought that was interesting that they made him an actual detective. But anyway, enough about that. Let's, um, let's call it here. And we'll pick up this guy trying to hit him with sleep pots next time. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks again and uh, take care.